Hi there. Now I'm going to show you four more examples of limits, some of them involving infinity. All right, so here's our first example. Uh, what I want to do here is I want to look at the exponent uh, outside of this function. So let's look at the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of minus 3 over x. Now, in this case, uh, x is positive and it's going to 0 and the numerator is negative so this thing goes to minus infinity. And here's where I'm going to do a little trick. What I'm going to say is I'm going to say y is equal to minus 3 over x and so as x goes to 0 from the right, y goes to minus infinity. Aha! And that means the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of e to the minus uh, 3 over x. This is equal to the limit as y goes to negative infinity of e to the y. And this thing will look. e to the y as y goes to negative infinity is equal to 0. Done. Next example. Now let's consider this example. Here we have the limit as x goes to 0 of sine squared x over x squared. Now look, this thing is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x times sine of x all over x. Aha! But we know this limit, so we can separate the limits out. This is the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over x times the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over x. And this is equal to 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. Done. Next example. With this example, the limit as x goes to 3 from the left of negative x all over the square root of 9 minus x squared, uh, what we can do is we can, we can first evaluate the numerator. And so this is equal to the limit as x goes to 3 from the left of, well, that's going to be negative 3 all over the square root of 9 minus x squared. Okay, now if we're going to 3 from the left, the denominator here, it's always going to be positive and getting closer and closer to zero. So this is going to be negative infinity. Done. Next example. In this example, we have x goes to negative 2 from the left of 1 minus 2x all over x squared minus 4. In this case, uh, we can evaluate the numerator first, and so we're going to get limit as x goes to negative 2 from the left. Well, when I, I can just plug in negative 2 and I, I get 1 plus uh, 4 here. And uh, in the denominator, well, if we're going to negative 2 from the left, and that means we're plugging in things like negative 2.1. So the numerator, because it's being squared, is positive, but it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And so this is a positive number over a small positive number. And so it equals, it's, this limit goes to infinity. Done. We have done four examples of limits, some of which involved infinity. Let's go do some more math.